Hi guys, today we have some help from a subscriber, Kevin. Hi, yes, I'm Kevin from kevsrobots.com. We're going to show you how to get a web server running on your local network, accessible to anywhere in the world with access to the internet. As a bonus, it's secure, so in the web browser it will have that nice little padlock, um, and it's free. In our case, Kevin's going to contact our web server running off this Raspberry Pi Pico W from his home miles and miles away from here. This is so he can control our MicroPython project that I've got here that's running inside our house. Obviously, your web server doesn't have to be a MicroPython web server like ours is. It can be Apache, Nginx, um, and other things. Also, your web server doesn't have to run off a microcontroller um, like we are doing. It can run off um, Raspberry Pi. a Raspberry Pi, yeah, um, Linux machine, Windows machine, almost anything with access to the internet. Let's get started. Now to test if Kev can access this web server, he's really kindly volunteered to help us out with this. Um, he's got a really great uh, YouTube channel, website, um, I would really urge you guys to check that out and we'd definitely love to do something with him in the future again. Um, I'll just let him introduce himself. Just a quick notice, 87% of our viewers are not subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button now, it's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Hi, yes, I'm Kevin from kevsrobots.com and I'm a big fan of Google apps and I've got my own YouTube channel where I do robotics, Raspberry Pis and MicroPython. We're using our Google apps web server um, right now to run all the MicroPython code. So that's how Kevin can actually access this web page. Um, so we sent him the link earlier and um, now I'll press record on there. Yeah. Um, so you can see if at you the can... moment it's showing Google Apps, which is our message on the screen here. Yep. So you if see. Kevin changes the message through the web page um, now, you can see it's changed hey, and it says, Hey, Google Apps. Exclamation from, from Kev. Kev. Oh, brilliant. Cool. Look at that. Hey, Google Apps from Kev. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevin. Hi, it's Caleb. I'm editing this video and I just wanted to clarify that you might think the Google Apps web server we're on about is googleapps.com, our website. It isn't, it's just some web server software that we wrote and is running on our Raspberry Pi Pico W in our house. Also, as I'm editing this video, we just set up a Buy Me A Coffee page where people can support our channel and we've already had three donations, one of them Kev, so thank you all for the donations, it was really touching. Now back to Kev changing the speed. Yeah. Do you want to make the speed faster, maybe? Yeah, speed it up. Works. Yep, yeah, ready? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. oh yay. Look at that. Yeah. Cool. This is really fast. Oh, it says this is really fast. Oh, this is really fast. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. That's um, great. So that that demonstration does show that um, NGROC does work. We're not kind of faking it. And <laughs> um, it does work um, from out of this house. Um, so because Kevin is quite quite a way away from us, so it's really cool to see that app actually works. And thank you so much, Kevin, for at such short notice, um, you know, coming on yeah. Yeah. Um, and helping us out. Thank you so much for giving up your time to help us. No problem. And do check out his channel. It's really great. So yeah. Yes. Um, and the link will be in description. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for helping us out as well. Um, bye. Yeah. Thank bye, you. Bye. Kevin. Bye. If you have access to your router, then you could use port forwarding. We'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. But we're using NGROC, which does have its advantages. I'm creating a free account and I'm not affiliated with NGROC. I just, it's just something I use. During this video, if you see a patch on the screen, I'm just using it to cover up personal information. Now we need to download NGROC onto our computer. I'm currently on a Mac, but it's, this part is the same process on a Windows or Linux machine. Now I'm unzipping that file that we just downloaded. I assume you know how to do this. Next, we're gonna add our auth token to the script. You can find the command and your auth token on the website after creating your account here. It's essential to keep your auth token private because each token is unique and linked to your own account. I've not covered my auth token because um, I've reset it at the end of this video. So this auth token is un invalid. Because I'm on a Mac, I'm putting dot slash before ngrok so I can run it. On Windows, you don't have to do this. And you can see it's now saved. Disregarding the dot slash before ngrok, the processes are the same on Mac, Linux and Windows. I'm now running ngrok again with HTTP. 
I'm now gonna grab the IP address of the device that's hosting my web server. Um, in my case, that's my Raspberry Pi Pico. If you're using a microcontroller and you've not got it um, linked up to a computer or you've got no screens attached, then we've got a great video showing you how you can find the IP address of it. So I'm gonna cut and paste that into my terminal. And then I'm gonna put um, colon 80 for port 80 because that's the port that my web server's on. And now this should pop up. Now this um, link here is the link that you can give to anybody in the world and um, it'll bring them to your web server. When they go to this link, um, this message will pop up. It'll only um, pop up once, so don't worry about that. This web server running is our Google Apps web server. So if you want to um, check that out, check the video on that and check the code. Um, people really seem to like it. We've got quite a lot of Git GitHub stars. This link here brings you to a page where you can kind of spy and have a look at who's visiting your web server and um, loads of other admin stuff. To summarize, our web server is currently running on a Raspberry Pi Pika W. And since this microcontroller can't run ngrok, we're using ngrok on our computer. However, if your web server is running on a computer, you can also run ngrok on the same computer. First, we created an ngrok free account, downloaded it to our computer and added our auth token, which we got from the ngrok instruction page after signing up. Finally, we ran HTTP on ngrok with the IP address of the device that's running our server, followed by a colon and the port number. As a result, our web server is now accessible to any device with internet in the whole world. We got a free account to ngrok, but there is also paid accounts that you can get um, and you can look into them. Before we dive into port mapping, we just want to give a quick shout out to Kevin. This guy went above and beyond to help us out today. Our camera was acting up and then we realised the mic wasn't even connected after recording, so we had to redo it all. But Kevin stuck with us for a whole hour while we fixed the camera and mic. So a big thanks to Kevin for giving us his time and being so patient. Now to port mapping. We've had three routers and every single one of those routers has had port mapping. The one we're on right now is quite bad, um, but it still has port mapping. So your router will most likely have port mapping. So we're going to add a static port mapping and we need to fill out this little sheet thing. So the service, it doesn't really matter what you put in here, but we've put web. We should probably put HTTP. Down here, we're just putting in our IP address. In our case, it's the IP address of our Raspberry Pi Pico. And now you need to set a public and a local port. The public port is um, what the people are going to connect to. And the local port is the port of your device. In our case, our Raspberry Pi Pico. The reason why we're using port 81 instead of port 80 is because the router admin is running on port 80, but you can usually change that and then our microcontroller is on port 80. You obviously need to go to your IP address to view your web server, so you can find your IP address if you don't already know it, uh, many ways, for example, on your router or at findmyip.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a like and subscribe, um, and see you next time. Bye from us and bye from Kevin. Bye. Right, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you.